the smell is still there now i'm gonna get up and demonstrate to y'all how i'm gonna insert my uni pearls <laughs> Hey B Squad and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you will be joining the B Squad. And if you are returning B Squad member, welcome back honey and thank you very much for returning i really do appreciate you um so if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do press the subscribe button right here at the bottom and don't forget to like and comment on the video so as you can tell by the title of this video today honey we are trying yoni pearls and yoni steam so i did make a purchase I haven't yet opened it um, for um, my Yoni pearls and my Yoni steaming herbs. So I ordered from a lady in Cape Town. She's not just any lady, she's one of my very good um, clients. So when she posted these items that she's selling, I was like, you know what, let me just buy it because I've been looking for somebody who sells and I've been wanting to try it out. So. We are going to open the package together. As you can see, it's still sealed. Um, so, let's just open it. Ooh. Okay, so I'm sure you guys might, might be asking yourself why am I trying these Yoni Pro community. You know what? It's just a thing of wanting to experiment. There's nothing much to it. Um, I've been seeing it trending a lot, so I wanted to taste it. So it does smell like herbs in here because it is herbs. Okay, so I've opened. So this is the package. So I ordered the ball bowl. Came comes it comes in a little packet like this. I'm just put this here. Comes in a little packet like this. And here are the Yoni herbs. Okay. And here are the pearls. but here are the pearls um so today today's actually wednesday yeah today's wednesday and on wednesdays i usually do my self-care so i've already done my whole self-care and my face self-care and stuff as you can see do my makeup today so today i'm going to be doing um the yoni pearls and then after three days so you keep these in for three days and then after three days i'm just going to take it out and then after 24 hours i'm going to go in and steam my yoni so she did send me you know in fact i was so kind to just send me the instructions to how to use these um pearls i've also seen some videos on how to use them I actually do not know if I should, if anything, because I've seen really, um, is it explits? I don't know if I should say explits, but I've seen people post the videos of what comes out of the yoni after using the, the pearls, and I really don't know if I really want to show anybody that if, if anything does come out so today obviously i'm going to start off with my uni pearls so the instructions to these is that um okay apparently you put coconut oil um by the cotton and then what i saw also on other videos they actually first waited for one minute in water they dip it in water and then waited and then you tie it and then you insert it so non tactless instruction says that I must lie on my back with my legs up to my chest and then use my middle finger and just boop, 
inserted up there so yeah that's what i'm going to do so okay so you must be asking yourself what are the benefits of um the yoni pearls so this is what i googled and this is what i found it removes waste attached to the womb sheds the excess non-essential tissue or cells balances the moisture in your vagina helps to um, retain the, the vagina's natural tight um, state uh, last point maintains a healthy acid environment of the vagina I've also read that it also helps with menstrual cramps if you have period pains and stuff like that which I don't really get it's just normal like it's nothing bad and it helps your yoni tighten up you know um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I wash my hands and everything I'm gonna go ahead and just open these oh yes before I do that so you guys must be asking yourselves how much do they cost so um, if you would like to purchase from non Atlanta I will leave her details in the description box and you may do so she is in Cape Town and yeah so for the pearls I paid two hundred and fifty and for the herbs I paid 300 and then for the bowl I paid 50 red so the total for everything was 600 and then with shipping which I used to pay Pexies then shipping um, which is 60 red so the total was 660 for everything so here and open um Oh, they do they have a smell a very strong smell um even the herbs the herbs have a smell i don't think i like the smell and then mommy come on hey come on what the cameras the camera yes you want to say hi to the youtube channel yes okay um So, I've untied first one. I'm gonna put all three. Montana's instructions was not to put all three up. Um, I think he put one at a time and leave it for like 24 hours. But I've seen people put all three and leave them for 72 hours. Obviously, this video will not be shot in, in all of my day. I will do another video on Monday for the uh, serious okay, today you're not featured on the YouTube channel hmm? okay so I got all three of them untied so I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. Oh no. I just dropped one. So yes. T Ray is YouTube bombing me. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it like that. <laughs> Long nails, like I can't deal with long nails. I don't know why I even follow. Tiri. Mm -hmm. Tiri. Today is not your turn on the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've tied it and then I'm going to dip it in water for one minute. Mm. Like these things don't smell nice. Okay, so in water we go for one, one, one minute. Who's that? Okay, guys, so one minute has gone by.
the smell is still there. So, now I'm going to get up and demonstrate to y'all how I'm going to insert my uni pearls. <laughs> I'm just joking guys, I'm just joking guys. I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'm gonna come back to tell you how it went. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I hope it's gonna take a few minutes. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I've inserted my Yoni pearls. I'm inserting them. I think maybe I should have gotten that lubricant oil that I always see people using. It was quite difficult and I feel like I should have only used two uni pearls instead of three because I pushed the first and the second one in which it went in properly and stuff but the third one like I'm struggling I feel like it's sitting by the door of the vagina like you know with the hole like I can feel it you know so I don't know we'll just see how it goes um in terms of feeling right now I'm sitting down um okay like I'm not uncomfortable or anything um, I just feel like a tingly feeling that I've inserted something there because it's got the smell like it's not like Vicks like Vicks is too strong Vicks is too strong like it's sort of like a Vicks smell but in a lighter way like I don't know what to call the smell um, so you know when you put Vicks like on your eyes it gets that tingly like burning feeling I can feel that like that kind of feeling up there but it's not bad like it's not a bad burning feeling I think if it was like like Vicks I would yeah I would be not comfortable at all but I can feel like this tingling sensation kind of like feeling so like I said I'm gonna leave it on until Saturday today is Wednesday I'll take them out on Saturday yeah and I'll let you know how it went and how I felt and all of the drama if anything comes out um, I'm not sure yet if I will put a video of that We'll see about that. So I will see you. I'm gonna continue with this video on Monday when I do you The herb which I, 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 I want to come to the channel. Come So yeah I don't like the smell of these so I'm gonna come back and just tell you more about yoni steaming herbs so for now let me say bye and yeah see you on monday <laughs> and if you have tried yoni pearls please tell me please do comment down what your experience and how it went and if you liked it and if it changed anything in your life and or anything like that so yeah <laughs> hi guys and welcome back so today is Friday. Yeah, today is Friday. I know I said I'd come back um, and do the uni steaming on Monday, but unfortunately I had a little glitch and I couldn't do that. So yeah, here I am today. I'm going to do my uni steaming. Before I do the uni steaming, as you can see, I'm ready and everything. I'm in my rope and everything. Before I do um, the uni steaming, I want to just talk about my experience with the uni pearls. So, the uni pearls, right? Um, I put them on on Wednesday. So, my first day with the uni pearls. <laughs> like, it was horrible. <laughs> I think I did not push them deep enough so it made me feel a bit uncomfortable um, I could actually feel them like I could feel the th third ball like when I touched up there I could feel the third ball you know so I think I was a bit scared to push them like deep enough because I also then went to Google Google said you should push them with your middle finger and your middle finger should like go inside you know um, yeah, so I think I didn't push them deep enough. So day one, you, I was very uncomfortable. Um, I was Googling and Google made me feel a bit paranoid. And now I started seeing reasons why not to use Yoni pearls and stuff like that. But anyway, 
that was my first day and I can remember the night I was even thinking about it, like during the night in my sleep I was thinking about it, I'm like oh my god I've got these things and that's how uncomfortable I was with him and the second day was like sort of like the same but now I was like getting used to them um yeah and then on the Third day, uh, on the third day, no, you know, on the no, on the second day actually, on the second day, I remember at night when I was sleeping and I'm feeling them, and I could feel it. I was like, man, no, these things are not deep enough, and I then like pushed, like, like I pushed them and I pushed them and I pushed them, and I think I pushed until they were deep enough, and then I could no longer feel um, the third ball. And then I remember on Saturday was. Obviously the final day, I was supposed to take them out on Saturday. Um, I remember I could not feel them anymore. I was so used to them. Like, I, did, I didn't even realize that I have them on and stuff. So, the third day, yeah, it was very comfortable. So I think when you put them on, um, do push them deep enough, you know? I think if you also used um, tampons, maybe it will be easier for you like for me i don't like tampons they're not my thing um i've tried them and i keep trying them and then i go back to the normal pads because i don't like tampons so i think also with tampons i feel uncomfortable because i don't push them probably i don't push it deep enough or i don't put it on i don't put it in properly so that's why i feel so uncomfortable i don't know but i just don't like tampons so yeah that's that so during when i had my um uni pearls for my 72 hours there was no discharge or anything like that like no discharge or anything like that it was just yeah it was just normal and stuff so i remember on saturday i went to um a lunch uh from church because there was like a engagement kind of like thing I went with him on um, so I, I reached over 72 hours actually I took them out when I came back at night at 9 p.m. so remember you guys I said um, I'm not sure if I talk about if I'd show you guys a clip of what came out when I took them out so I decided I thought about it I decided that I'm going to show you actually what came out when I took out the the pro so I'm gonna add a little clip in the yo know, if you're not comfortable with um, um, watching what came out you know you can just fast forward a bit and That was the clip of what came out of my yoni when I took out the balls. So immediately when I took out the balls, that came out. Like it was attached to the balls, you know, that came out. I don't know what that is. Um, I've tried to read about it, but honestly, I do not know what that is. But I did touch it and I did, of course, smell it. Um, with regards to smell, there was no, there was no like there was no horrible smell like it didn't smell bad or anything like that um uh it was more of the smell of the yoni pearls that it had originally so yeah it still had that smell and in terms of texture it felt like rubbery it was not wet or anything like that you know discharge is usually like wet so that was different um I'll try YouTube channel. Yeah, say hi YouTube channel. Sorry about that. But in terms of how it felt, it felt like rubbery. I don't know what that is, but it felt rubbery. It's not weight or anything like normal discharge is like weight on this day, but it was not weight or anything. Yeah, and it looked rubbery. I don't know honestly what that is, but that's that's usually what I see on other people's um videos. Yeah. And that was it. It came out when I took out the uni post and that was it. Nothing else has come out. So I guess we are done. Okay, so when I say I had a little glitch that I couldn't do my uni steaming. So I took out my uni pearls on Saturday and then on Sunday 
um, I was gonna just spend the whole day and stuff and then do my steam on Monday. How? On Sunday when I wake up, I'm on my period and I was not expecting my periods on Sunday. I was actually expecting them like round about now, like um, 17 to the 18th. So I started my period on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure if it was because of the uni pearls. I don't know, but yeah, that is it. And yeah, so that is it with regards to the uni pearls. That is my experience, you know, and how I'm feeling. Like I'm just feeling normal. Um, I know I did put up a post on my WhatsApp and um, one girl did use it, used the yoni pearls and then she said after a few days she went to do the deed with the man and her virginity was so tight it felt like she was still a virgin <laughs> so I know for that reason people would love to use yoni pearls if you'd like to use them go ahead for me I don't know if they made me tight or words like I need to test it, I don't know, in the future, in the far future. <laughs> yeah, so now, um, today I'm going to do the Yoni Steaming, Steaming. So let's just talk a little bit about the Yoni Steaming and the benefits. Um, I've got Tui's phone, this phone that is so slow, and I've Googled benefits. So it says it also allegedly relieves stress, depression, infection, infertility, home, hormone imbalances, headaches, fatigue, digestive issues, generalized pain. Um, yeah, well that is what Google says. And it can also help with menstrual pain and stuff like that. So once, so if you would like to try it, I suggest that you Google it. Google more about yoni steaming and yoni pearls, um, and see if it's something that you would like to try. Just find out more about it. So I'm going to go prepare my yoni steaming. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, I am in the kitchen so I've boiled my water um, so in Dante's instructions on how to prepare the yoni steaming herbs is that you pour three cups of boiling water and then measure three tablespoons of the yoni steaming herbs and then let it simmer on the stove for five minutes so I'm going to do that right now Okay guys, so I've got my uni steaming herbs on the stove, so I'm gonna just let them simmer for five minutes as per the instruction and then yeah. Guys, my herbs have simmered for five minutes and here they are. It's probably hot. So. The smell is really strong of the herbs. So here it is. You won't be able to see. So now what I'm gonna do is transfer them into my bowl. So I also did just test it if the bowl fits properly. I want to go clean the bathroom again. And test it, it does fit in perfectly. So yeah. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've transferred my herbs from my pot to the bowl. So right now I'm gonna go sit on the bathroom, on the, on the toilet for about 20 to 30 minutes. And yeah, I will see you when I'm done. 
Um, so guys, I'm done with my yoni steaming. I was sitting on the bottom seat for about 20 minutes. And honestly, there's nothing much I can say right now about yoni steaming because I just did it now. So I don't think anything will happen if anything's supposed to happen. Um, it was just very relaxing to be just sitting on the bottom seat and steaming and stuff. But yeah, honestly, there's nothing much to say about it right now if anything i will let you guys know um yo um and then if you guys have any questions about the uni steaming or the uni plus please do comment down below ask your questions and i will try answer them um as i can and then yeah, I will see you. So this is the end, officially the end of this video. I will see you in my next video, which is probably going to be next week. And I hope I'll upload this video on time as planned so that I can do the next video, which will be next week, which is going to be a little bit fun. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for coming this far and watching this whole video. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do press the subscribe button and just comment down below of any thoughts and tell me how you felt about this video would you like to see more of such videos and yeah this is the end and i will see you in my next video bye b squad i love you all